Located on Wabasha Street, St. Paul's Central Thoroughfare, and only five blocks from the State Capitol Building, it's a landmark all unto itself. Because this is a building that long loomed large as the Science Museum of Minnesota, and hence, a place known to whole generations of Minnesotans who toured the museum as kids on school field trips. Okay, so for example, I can talk about Twin Cities in Minnesota, uh, because I spent years working on that particular organization. Okay. Twin Cities was a small, struggling organization, literally consisted of 10 to 20 staff members. Very small, very struggling for decades. Uh, the local parishioners got together and they purchased a gigantic building. While to every other description of its size, the only apt word is monumental. As in, the largest Scientology ideal church of its kind in the United States of America. I, I really to this day wonder why they purchased such a huge building because it's one of the biggest in the western United States. It's, it's huge. It's like 90,000 square feet. The indelible impression when crossing the threshold to reception is nothing short of grand. The adjacent cafe follows suit. Um, they purchased this big building. They then spent years getting money together to renovate it. Uh, they renovated this building. It's beautiful. The academy is yet another ample delivery space, as in the size of a football field. This is where this Church of Scientology will serve as training ground for Minnesota natives to learn to become auditors themselves. It will also serve as a training ground for staffs of groups and missions from Wisconsin to the Dakotas. I was involved with the mission that, uh, that with the project for management that went in there to open this organization and get it going. And it was on that mission that I realized that they were really all about just making more money because what we're attention was focused on almost every other week was making more money for the IAS mm. and getting events happening within the organization and getting promotion happening within the organization for IAS fundraising events while at the same time very little attention and very little pressure being put on getting new people in on getting books sold on making auditors, on getting people into class. Sure, there was some lip service given to this, but the priority was all about making money. And this is the point where I really started getting what this whole thing was about, because I had already been involved with Pasadena, Seattle, Portland, Las Vegas, Los Angeles. I had seen all of these ideal organizations opened up, empty, no new public coming in, very few people coming around. But boy, were there a lot of fundraisers. Hi, I'm Dee Dee. We're at the Phoenix Org, and they are at the last few hours of getting the fundraising to zero. So we're going to go in and see where all the action is, because we are putting an org in the birthplace of Scientology. Follow me, come on. Hi, it's Dee Dee again. We're right outside of the fundraising headquarters. Yeah! Oh my God, it sounds like we just got a donation. Ah! Oh, follow me, let's check it out. Boy, was there a lot of money being made, and there was a lot of push on people giving more and more money to the IAS. Hey, Valley here. Valley. Hey, guess what we're doing? What are we doing here, Kathy? We're having a door sale, not a fire sale. You know why? A door sale. Why? Because we have the biggest ideal org property on planet Earth right now. I know. That's a lot of doors, people. We need a lot of doors. We need doors for auditing rooms, for course rooms. For the children's course room. And you know what? These doors, they are not $10,000. Gone to build a chapel and we're gonna clear the valley. Gee, we really need you. And that's not uh, what Scientology is supposed to be, but that's what Scientology is. A runaway money extortion racket. That's right. That and that is that I, tax -free. I, I Exactly. And I saw that with my own two eyes. I saw it over and over again. And that's when I realized that this whole thing about making ideal orgs is not about making big booming organizations with lots and lots of Scientologists. It's really and truly about making as much money from these parishioners as can possibly be gotten out of them before they're driven to bankruptcy or worse, and then letting them go. Mm.
And that's what the whole picture is all about. And I have since come to find out that it is that way internationally. There is, it's the same pattern over and over and over again. And uh, the Scientologists think that the Super Bowl commercials are somehow some big dissemination campaign and they're going to like bring Scientology to the world. Imagine science. And religion. Connecting. That's not what that's for not what it's about at all. It's all about just getting more and more money from the parishioners so that the very uh, top levels of Scientology, David Miscavige, can reap the benefits of having all that money. Because no other level of Scientology is benefiting from that money. I can